Welcome to Vindas Academy. Remember, this is the second video on the analysis for YX particle specimen on 2025 to 2026. Now, remember, I have done the experiment, I have done the analysis, and the experiment will be also done and be uploaded in a few days. I have done the experiment that talked about the use of Rator stand and helical spring, stopwatch, and then set of masses. So, to the, another experiment that may likely come out from this, because Wayek has just gave us, Wayek gave us this in which we combine more than three, four, five particles. So, I have explained the first one, which includes the helical spring, the stand, and stopwatch. In this experiment, I'm going to analyze what will likely come out when you are using the knife edge, which is this one. This is the knife edge. Then you are using the, um, a load of mass, 100 gram concealed and labeled as P, which is this P, then a load of mass, 20 gram, concealed and labeled as Q, which is this Q. And this Q is going to be 20 gram. So they may ask you to just be, you know, changing the values for the Q, which can be 20, 30, 40, 50, and depending on the quantity, depending on the variables that are going to be given us for that mass. And then you may be asked to find the center of gravity of the meter rule. Okay, meter rule is what I'm using now. I'm using this to show you the second experiment. I'm using cross or, you know, to show you this. And I'm also using this mass. So this mass is going to play the second role at this point. So what do we expect? Our intention here is to find the moment of force. So what heck will likely tell you to keep P at a particular length, let's say 15 cm throughout the experiment. And they may also ask you to find it or to put the knife edge at the center of gravity throughout this throughout the experiment. So you will not change this and you will not change this. But what you do is you're going to be moving the value of Q. Maybe if you put 20, you keep on moving it until you maintain equilibrium. Then you label D1. So this is how your table is going to be like. Your table is going to be, let's say, your table is going to be mass in gram. And we are going to label D1 in CM. So that is what you are going to have. So now, at the end, the intention is the moment. What is the moment there? Now, remember that there are two masses. Clockwise moment must be equal to the anti-clockwise moment. So the first one is going to be P times D. P times D must be equal to Q times D sub 1. This is what it's going to be. So in this case, I'm going to change it by saying that, let me call this one mass, capital M, and D equal to, this is small m multiplied by D1. So, but see what happened. The question is going to be, this is the formula for moment, right? Moment is the mass or the force times the distance, right? Perpendicular distance from the turning point to the line of action. Now, what we will ask you to do is to find D inverse. D inverse. So, <laughs> so when they ask you to find D inverse, they will ask you to now plot M against D inverse. So, see what will happen. M times D will be recorded. So, in your center, Wahek, what Wahek knows that this is 100 gram. Wahek knows that this is 100 grams. And Wahek knows... Why could ask you to record your center of gravity? If your center of gravity is 50, for example, and this place is 15, 50 minus 15, they know they are going to be having 35. So why is going to just say 100 times 35. Why we have that moment is given as what? 3500. Uh, this is going to be gram. Uh, this is going to be gram cm instead of Newton per meter. Newton meter. So this is what Wayek knows that you must come up with. Then they will not ask to say this. They will not ask you to find D inverse. See what will happen. Why from this D inverse, you are going to have this. M D is equal to M multiplied by 1 over D. Okay, sorry. See what I'm, I was trying to explain? What I'm trying to explain is 
this, you know, remember that this side of the moment must be equal to this side of the moment. So they will now say that moment, capital, I'm using capital M for moment. Okay, let me use P for moment. moment. I'm going to say that P is equal to M, which is the mass, which is this mass. Pay attention. But this P, which is moment, is equal to this value. They already know. But they want you to confirm. Now, look at this. D multiplied by D inverse, because you are plotting a graph of M on the vertical, which is gram, and D inverse on the horizontal. So when you do that, you now have multiplied by 1 over D. So at the end, you are going to have P, D is equal to M. You see? Or which is the same thing as M is equal to P, D. Now, we are by M is on the vertical, and D, that is how it will look like, and D is on the horizontal. This graph is almost the same thing as this graph, such that with this P now, you are now going to find the, because, look at this, because at the end, your, it's going to be a straight line graph, whereby your slope is going to be change in mass all over change in d over 1. So, slope is going to be um, m, change in m all over 1 over d. Slope is going to be m what? md. Which is this? And this md is which is this slope we give you the value of md, okay, not d, actually it's d1, please, let's pay attention to that. So, which will be the same thing as 35 or 3,500, which was what you had in the first place. So, this is what you are likely going to do in this second experiment, which I am bringing out from this end number three. That is my analysis. Please, if there is anything you think that was a little concern or maybe something you think I didn't do very well, you can use the comment section and be very kind while you're trying to address it. Um, because I think, um, I think it's okay. Because when I got this, multiply this, I have M. M over D is the P. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's fine. So here, M over D1, we still give you P, and this P is still 35. So the 35 is the slope. So before you even start plotting your graph, why it knows what your graph will likely be like. So this is my analysis for this experiment. I'm going to explain the third experiment that may likely come out from this same apparatus or specimen work has given you. Thank you, but please don't forget to always hit the subscribe button, like this video, share, and comment so that YouTube algorithm can also identify what you are doing and push our content. Have a nice day and wait while you continue watching the next video.